Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. One of the things I like most about Microsoft Windows is the ability to create shortcuts on the Windows desktop that simplify the execution of common tasks. For example, I find myself creating a lot of system restore points on my PC, so I created a handy desktop shortcut that creates a new restore point every time I click on it. This particular shortcut makes it easy for me to quickly create a restore point at any time without having to wade through a series of menus. As you can imagine, desktop shortcuts can really come in handy. However, they do have one rather irritating limitation by default. If the task initiated by the shortcut involves anything that happens at the system level, the shortcut likely won't work as intended unless you right click on it and select Run as Administrator from the drop down menu. What's more, you have to remember to do the right click step every time you need to complete that task. While small, that extra step can be significant if you're pressed for time. And who isn't these days? Here's a shortcut I created for uh, creating a restore point. Let's take a look at it. When I click on the original shortcut, it doesn't work. It throws an access denied error instead. And there's the error. Of course, I could always right click on the shortcut every time and click Run as Administrator. But I'd rather skip that step since I use this shortcut so often. Luckily, it's easy to make a very simple tweak to your shortcuts that will force them to always run as administrator by default. First, right click on the shortcut and select Properties from the drop-down menu. Click the Advanced button. Now check the box beside Run as Administrator. Click OK. Click OK again. Now when I click on that shortcut, I'll get the standard user account control dialog asking me to confirm that I really want to create a restore point. After I click yes, it goes ahead and completes the operation. And you can see right there it says uh, method execution successful. That means that, re that new restore point has been created and it's ready for me to use if I ever need to restore from it. That's all there is to it. From now on, your shortcut should work without having to manually assign administrator privileges to it. If you found this tip useful, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to help me spread the word. Thanks a bunch.